Like, and now the board have reduced think... my available transfer funds. <laughs> Kev, how do you think um, you became a millionaire? I feel like they really don't want me to have million. Erling Haaland. Yeah, mine too. Uh, what's your debt, Kev? Oh, hundreds of millions. Yeah, actually, you know, what, he's, what's he's your run his balance? clubs straight into the ground. Uh, my well, overall my balance is, is minus 104 million. My oh. actual total club debt is minus 745 million. Mine's only minus 92. So, easy. Mine's plus 30. I wonder who's running the best club right now. Can we just... The, the team that are probably top of the league uh, or around the, around the top. <laughs> right, chat. Leicester at home. Where are Leicester? They're 12th. It's crazy how we're on 20 points. Like We're on a good return here. We're actually doing good this season and it's just not enough. Like The average points is so high. I guess that's why there's such a big gap between like Arsenal in 10th and then like the rest. Like if you're averaging one and a half points a game, you're doing pretty well. Kalulu, big header. Rafinha. Edwards has been very good for us this season so far. Oh, what a... I was about to say, what a ball. He's overhit it, but it's still dangerous. Penrith! Right, we've got a chance here. Can Almada score it? Of course he can. We weren't going to bottle it. I just took a swig from my bottle and it was like there was something in the bottle that I've just swallowed. That's concerning, isn't it? Rafinha, Kalulu, please score. Oh my word, we're fine. I'll, I'll, I'll wash down. Don't hurt a Berlin like I have a really rich owner and football manager. Aren't they like bankrolled? Just imagine if they went down. Also, CDK's good. We're 3-0 up. Oh, we've only, we've only had three shots on target, but it's one of those games where they all go in. I want another. I want another. I've got another. Thiago Armada has been unreal for us this game. Holy crap. Rotated our team in Europe. Full strength team for this game with a bit of rest. Four goals to the good. Not even half time. Happy days. Let's go. We've just given away the ball so dumbly. Lucas Mora. Dinks it, Praye. They've got a quite good team. Okay, Wilfred Ndidi never does that in real life. He never does. I'm, I'm calling BS. I'm calling you out, football manager. That doesn't happen in real life, does it? Ndidi is not volleying that into the top corner like that. Just say that now. He's not winning Chelsea the game tonight like that. I realise I've not made any subs this game. 4-0 up and we've just been vibing. Strike. Oh, it's 5. It's 5. We'll make subs now. Why not? I mean, good result for us. 5-1. Maybe got a few more goals than we deserved. We want 6. Don't concede to Watkins. Why does it feel like this game is playing in slow-mo? That was weird. Is someone... It switched to... How did that switch to full match? Why does that happen sometimes in Football Manager? That's annoying. I mean, 5-2. Still a great result. Still a great result. Pleased with the win. Beautiful. How's everyone else doing? This is the nervous bit about the network game, isn't it? Checking on the other games. Oh, Kev's winning 4-2 against Liverpool. They've really let it, them down. Z is 0-0 against Norwich. Ben is winning. I forgot Close. I've got Lorenzo That's Luca busy. playing in Serie C right now. Because the game is broken. Yeah, how's he doing? <laughs> I'm getting, he's got eight goals in 13 with two assists. He's That's got, not that good. That's not that good. That's poor. Uh, I've, I've applied for a work permit. He had a better goal return in the Bundesliga 2. I heard my you name. You tweeted about, you know, you did ever, uh, <gasps> Christ, you ever did in the championship. This game makes no sense. What happened? Luke has now been given a work permit when he's playing in Serie C, but he didn't get one when he was playing in the Bundesliga 2. So Please tell me you didn't put a recall clause on there. <clears throat> That'd be amazing. I can't recall him outside the window, but I can recall him in so January. He's going to show up in January, basically. He's why is that? Like, why is that? Like, that can't be how it would work in real life. I don't know what the rules are. He doesn't get a work permit for six months in the Bundesliga, and he goes and scores the same amount of goals in more games in Serie C, and they go, you know what? He's eligible. Right, while they discuss that, we're taking on Blackburn, who I did not realise are bottom of the league. So this might be naive. 
I'm going to use as a chance to play a B team and get some rest going because um, I need to rotate the team way more than I currently am. But yeah, and the bear in mind, a hockey season is 82 games in the season for that price. Let's go. And that's all the games in the league. But if you were just to watch your own team's games, it works out at less than a pound a game. Let's go. That's a really, really good goal. Oh, okay. So in the US, there's like bundles as well. Yeah, I wasn't sure how it worked from a price perspective. I guess that's kind of the norm. Let's go. Glenny Kamara. I'm sorry to Jiruki watching this and people watching on YouTube. We're having a discussion about sports broadcasting costs and kind of how different sports charge. You're probably getting bits and pieces through the highlights. I'm making it a nightmare for my editor to do this. He'll probably cut out this game. You'll never see this. But if you do see this game, how much do you pay or hypothetically pay for the sport that you watch? Let, let me know in the, the YouTube comments. Just break, break the fourth wall there, chat. Uh, Some of Jordan suggested that the Premier League having a Netflix kind of thing would be more lucrative than selling the rights. I think it probably would be. I think you could charge £10 a month for the Premier League and you would, like, because you're cutting out, like, basically selling it out to Sky and whatever. You're probably getting a bigger piece of the pie. I think one of the issues is that it would be a gamble. Kamara, finish that. Let's go! Come on! Just going to play the bottle. 3-0. Um, Rotate a team doing bits against the team that's bombed. This is really, really good for us. We need another goal. I say we need a goal. We don't need another goal. This game's been done forever. It'd be nice to get another goal, but look, we've played the B team. The B team's done the business. That was nice, wasn't it? That was, just, that was a lovely game of football just to watch and enjoy. Very happy. Do do do. You don't have Washington in your locker. One more on a one last time. Relax, have a drink with me. One last time. Yeah, you're probably right. I have no idea. Something is happening though. I'm gonna teach them how to say goodbye, say goodbye, you and I. And I will always love you. That's true. I bet you can just say happy birthday again. You were the choir, Z. I feel like you could have been in the choir. <laughs> I actually was in musical theatre growing up. Of course you were. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Chat, can someone just note down the timestamp for this moment in the stream? I need to send it to Jeruki to make sure it makes the YouTube episode. All right, we've got Fulham next away. We've got a midweek game after this in the Europa League, but we're already through and we're guaranteed top spot. So we're going to rotate for that team, uh, for that game. So Fulham and then that Brighton game could be big. If we get to that Brighton game today, I'd be surprised. But if we get to that, that's the one we want to win. We're in a really good spot, chat. Considering we're juggling European football as well. Like, we're playing well. So he's got a game in hand. I mean, we're only five points off the top four and the top four is only... What, separated by a point? Like, it's crazy, this league right now. Kamara, that's a long way back to the centre-backs, but I don't hate it. I mean, the passing's nice, isn't it? The passing is love. Look at this. This is... I mean, if we score that... That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. But yeah, I really, really like this system. Like, I... It just works really, really well, I guess, is the bottom line. Like, the movement's good... Like, the two shadow strikers, like, two attacking mids behind a forward is good anyway in the match engine, but with, like, the winger as well and the asymmetricness, it just looks nice. CDK, oh, my. I love CDK as the striker. Once we get Lorenzo Lucia in, now he's got a work permit in January, we are going to be a scary, scary team. Do you take a break at the end of, uh, uh, for a few weeks, at the end of the cycle before the next FM? Yes, that is one thing I do always do. Balls, that's an annoying goal to concede. One thing I always do is about a month before the new football managers are, like kind of due to come out, of course, with the way the beta works, it's always a bit question marky. I stop doing a let's play. I have a month where I don't have a save game going. I will do some content covering the new features for the next football manager as they're announced. But... Um, I treat that kind of month period as my holiday period because there's not very often where I can just take a two-week summer holiday like you would with a more traditional job. Like, I'll sometimes go away for weekends and I can record videos in advance for, like, you know, the Monday and the Friday or whatever. But it's pretty rare that I will ever have just two months without working. Let's go, Almada! 
It's really cool to see with F1. I've talked about this before, but I've been a big Formula One fan all my life. Like it's been something that's always been part of me. But one thing as a creator that I've always been a bit paranoid about is tweeting about stuff people don't care about. If that makes sense. Like there's almost a, I don't want to put out a tweet that a small amount of people care about. So I've never tweeted that much about F1. And that's kind of changed over the last three years. Like you'll find old tweets from like a decade ago where I tweet odds and ends about F1 to like 10 followers. But I'm loving seeing F1 get more mainstream and seeing more people get interested in it. I know there's some people who kind of begrudge new F1 fans. You know, they, they only know what's happened because of Drive to Survive. They don't understand the actual sport. All that BS. No, for me, it's just really exciting to see a sport that I adore getting more and more interest shown in it. Like, that's so cool. And I, I feel like the fact that you've got a game like F1 Manager coming out, that game would not be being made on a AAA budget. Um, if it wasn't for the recent resurgence in F1 and a new young audience coming to the sport and really enjoying it. But Football Manager is just such a unique game where it's, in a weird way, it can make things easier streaming-wise because you can interact with the chat way more and just play at your own pace. But equally, often you're filling the time because you've got, because nothing, because you're not doing anything. You've got to be able to talk way more over those quiet periods. Oh, CDK's got four! Oh, my word. You know it's a good goal because my voice is cracked. Oh, happy days, everyone. It's all coming up Millhouse. Oh, youth intake preview. Uh, Ooh, goalkeeper. Oh, my God. I've never seen it this bad. <laughs> oh, I, got, I got an excellent intake, so we'll see how we do. <laughs> I've never had one this way. One of them hasn't got a rating. I don't need youth players. It's not great. I'm signing Erling Haaland. Okay. Well, we're already through. This game literally doesn't matter. This game literally doesn't matter. Do you, Ricky, when you edit this game, just, you know, have five second snippets of every goal. We'll do that for this one. I don't care. You don't care. Uh, they nearly scored immediately. Right. Next highlight. And then the winger can just do that. Please don't score. They've scored. Kamara. Edwards. He's already got one assist. He's got another! Julian Brandt! Yeah! It's his second goal, first from open play. Had only scored a penalty before this. What can he do? He came from Thailand and he scored a penalty for Leeds United. Late night vibes. Balls! Good win. Great win. Look at that. Marcus Edwards with an assist. And man of the match. Muenta with two goals. Happy days. Right, gang, we're, 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 we've done good today, right? That's been a really, really good stream. Really, really good stream result-wise. I know Z's had a miserable time. He's got a game in hand. If he wins that, he's still in an okay spot. I mean, we are now only three points away from Man U, who do have a game in hand, but we've done well. New system's working immensely as well. I was curious to see how this tactic works with a slightly weaker team. We are creating a lot. We are scoring a lot. And it's pretty goals as well, which is what I want to see. Um, yeah, we're playing really, really good football.